Hi, I'm Michael Burton. I'm an artist and a father of two rambunctious young boys, August and Everett. They're four and seven. Before I talk about myself, let's hear from my wife, Anne. Let's go. Hi, I'm Anne Burton, and we have two kids, August and Everett. <laughs> Um, we're doing a lot of art projects. Some of the things we're working on are printmaking. I'm having to teach my printmaking classes online, screen printing and elementary printmaking. So um, my son Everett has been making some of those projects. He made his first lino cut this week. First he carved a block and then uh, we inked it up after he got his drawing on the block and carved it and uh, then we used our hands to get, take basically like a pressure proof so that he could see what it looked like. We're also gonna work on a screen print so he can make a t-shirt and um, while I'm working with him, we're also filming those as demos for my online class. This is just collage stuff. So. You want to print one on this? This is handmade. This is banana paper. Banana! So I can eat it? And try to get a nice one. But that means we also have to do some registration. Oh, so. Don't lean on the screen. Yeah. That's, you lean on the side. Okay. Perfect. Okay, do you remember how to do this? Put pressure through your fingers. You want to do it by yourself or you want to do it together? Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Alright. Pull it down. Pull the fruit down. Good job. Are you able to work on stuff in the studio? I've been working on a woodcut that I was working on uh, a while ago and it's still in progress and I'm also working on a book project using a lot of the pieces that I've made before I figure uh, either a book or a large scale print will come out of this. Uh, some of these are laser cut images made from photographs. Uh, this is a photograph of my great great grandfather. This is a print that I created earlier this year and you can see the block is still in the final stage of printing. I work uh, in reduction, so I print a color and then I carve and then I print again and I carve again and I think this one has about 18 colors. So these are the last two prints that I just finished up and I'm working on a, another one related to this series. Well, I've been keeping pretty busy with the boys, too. For starters, we go out every day and we run at full bore. It helps keep the carbon from building up in their cylinders. We go for hikes, we've been fishing a lot, bike riding, and walking the dogs. Ann and I are homeschooling, so service learning is a part of our curriculum. I'm a professor in the fashion design department at UNL, and since we've moved to online teaching, I've had to film tutorials. Everett has been helping a lot. Have you been helping me film some video tutorials too? Yeah. Do I have my camera and microphone on right now, Everett? Yeah, I think you have the camera. Yeah, and you have the camera on. Yep, camera's on. Is the, is the uh, mic in the right position? Mm. Looks good. Okay. Hi. He consults on my YouTube channel that I started for my classes. And he's been doing some animation work too. Dropping a basketball into a basketball hoop and hitting it down and then bouncing off. Right, what is this? My my grave digger car. I um I got a grave digger um monster truck. In the studio, I've been working on this one-hour feature film with my team from UNL. It's a project funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. 
We developed this hybrid format in 2018 with our film Anna. One of the things I love most about this film is our stylistic choice to hybridize live action film with animation and visual effects treatments, creating a look that lives somewhere between 19th century prints and real life. The process is time intensive, however the look is rich and compelling, bringing viewers into the past in a way that blends our notions of history with the real lives of each character. Right now, I'm spending time in the studio developing the visual effects while my production team finishes casting and the costume team sews the garments. And I've been making small drawings of barns. These are great stress reliever because they're just fun to make. We've been pretty lucky to have time to spend with the boys and fold them into our work lives. 